Here we are to do another VHS review, and usually I like to do an order. Laserdisc, um, DVD, and VHS. Well, I didn't finish the Smoking the Bandit. I was too tired the other night, too tired to do it tonight, so I watched something that was short. It was a VHS tape. Got this from the Goodwill store. Or did I? Um, I think I did. See, actually, you know what? I don't know where I bought this from. I, it had to have been them, because... I don't remember finding this wherever it was. It doesn't even really matter. The point is, is look at how old this tape is. It doesn't tell you the um, year on it, but you can tell it's pretty old. Well, from because especially look at the tape inside. You don't see many tapes like that on VHS. Um, at least not the ones that came out in the later years. You saw them early days. Um, okay. It's 30 minutes long. I have a complaint about this. The fact that anyone would release any VHS tape for 30 minutes is stupid. This should have been at least an hour long. There wasn't enough footage on it to warrant even a VHS tape. The footage wasn't too bad. It was a lot of you know, talk, talking about hockey, fights, big goals, bloopers and stuff. It was fun, but 30 minutes is not long enough. Now this is the 1988 hockey season. It says 88 for copyright. 1988 for copyright on here. So this tape is, I don't know, it's one of the oldest tapes I have currently in my set. If you go, if I talked about it, I might have talked about the Larry Bird VHS tapes on this channel. Those might be a little older from 86. I have some tapes from the mid 80s and all that, but um... These are probably, this has to be the oldest tape I have, one of the oldest tapes I have. And uh, it's not mine originally, so I was surprised there was um, some huge imperfections in the screen at first. I thought I was going to have trouble watching it. They cleared out in about 20, 25 seconds. Then throughout the video, there was a flicker, a line would go through and then it would go up. And then at the end, it had a severe imperfection for about five seconds during the credits. And then it went away. And then it went to the end and that was it. Originally I thought it said 36 minutes was the run time. But um, I guess I was wrong. I must have saw that on something else that I have. Because um, this only has about... I'm pretty sure I got this from the Goodwill. This one, I, I'm just... I'm pretty sure this that's how it was. I won't even continue saying it. Um trying to think if there's anything else I can tell you about it. I'll let you see the tape again. The tape is in rather good condition for being a tape that that's old. That, that's that old. I mean, this tape is old. You know it's old when Wayne Gretzky is still in the NHL. So that tells you something. No avalanche because they don't exist for what? Another eight years, I think. So this is something else in all those these plastic things inside. It's funny, my VCR rewinded this super, super fast and for the half hour that was on here. But if I was to rewind half hour worth of video on a regular tape, it takes longer. Maybe it's just the way it is. I don't know the exact technical detail. I never claim to be. I come on here to give you reviews and that's it. I don't, can't give you technical details. I'm not that kind of person. All right, bye-bye.